Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before you begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you guys are dropping an early like as well. But as we all know, the Cold War beta came to an end just the other day. I held off doing a video, well in fact it was yesterday. I held off doing the video yesterday on my final opinions of the beta running up to the release of this game. Uh, for the simple reason, I just wanted to let it sink in, just have a think to myself, you know, what, what I thought of the beta to, to be honest myself. Uh, and just a general opinion. And let me just say, uh, I did go ahead and reach max rank in this game and I experimented with a load of different guns. I used all sorts of things. I tried to use as much as I possibly could to give my best possible opinion on this game, you know, cover all aspects. Uh, and let's just say, I absolutely love this game. Honestly, the multiplayer feels crisp, it feels smooth. It feels amazing. The guns feel amazing. The MP5 for me was my pers personally my favourite gun. It felt insane. It was my favourite gun in Modern Warfare as well. So, could be two years running the MP5 is going to be my favourite gun. We'll see how the weapons are tweaked in the full release. But the maps felt nice. The only map I didn't like was Cartel. I mean, I liked Cartel, but the bushes on that map was a massive burden. It was just horrible. If You could literally... It, it reminded me of Fortnite bush camping. Like, see, Fortnite Season 1, if you sat in a bush, you was invisible. That's how I imagine... On, uh, that's how it is on Cartel. I've, I, I've seen a few people. I've been killed by a few people camping bushes on that map around the B flag. And, man, let me tell you, it's so annoying. You can't see them in the bushes. That's the only complaint I really have with this game. Uh, the SMG are sick, the ARs were amazing, the Krig was my favourite AR, uh, the M16 which is a marksman rifle which I was surprised at, I'm surprised it wasn't an AR, and maybe it will get switched at the full release, I don't know, maybe not, was insane, very very overpowered if you didn't use the M16, it was literally insane, um, the sniping in this game was just immense, it was just so so good, like one of the best uh, best sniping experiences I've had for a very very long while. Um, and to be honest, people were complaining about this. I've seen an article posted on Twitter saying that the snipers are too OP uh, and it's ruined the experience for the you know regular red gun players, which I thought was absolute rubbish. Like, come on! Like, why are you complaining about that? Saying it takes, it's, they were saying it takes no skill to snipe in this game. Yet, yeah, admittedly, the hitboxes in the beta was huge. Uh, if you didn't realize, it was very easy. It was easier to snipe on this game than Modern Warfare and other games, uh, for the simple fact the hitboxes in the beta was uh, a lot larger than usual. Well, that will probably be tweaked towards the uh, uh, full release. But that's not to mean the hitboxes weren't bigger for the SMGs and the AR ARs, because the, the hitboxes were the same for every single weapon. So, if anything, it would have made using ARs and SMGs better. So, to me, it was a pointless argument. Uh, you know, absolutely. You know, I don't know why it was even a thing. Uh, for me, it still takes a lot of skill to snipe. Uh, it's very difficult to snipe. You know, I mean, I'm all right sniping consistently. No, I'm not very good. But, uh, you know, I can have the odd really good game. Which uh, did make me happy using it. I was trying to hit a few clips, you know, just ex like, just having fun with the beta, you know. It was really fun. I, I, there was not a game, uh, even when I did awful, uh, there was a few games when the skill-based matchmaking absolutely whooped me in the ass. Uh, and absolutely annihilated me some games, you know. I, was, I went negative a few games, I'll be honest. And I still was enjoying the game. I didn't rage quit. Uh, Miami, uh, the only complaint I have with that map is it was it's a little bit too dark. Uh, the player characters are, don't stand out as much as in previous games. Uh, and I've seen a couple of other people complaining about this as well. Um, that it was hard to see people. Uh, to be fair, I think it was my FOV at the start. I had max FOV, you know, first time getting the FOV slider, to be honest, and I maxed it out. And it did sort of shoot me in the foot there. Uh, once I adjusted it, I could see people a lot better, but still it was kind of difficult on that map. Uh, but I'm sure that'll be fixed, you know, by the full release. I saw a lot of people complaining about loads of different things in this game. Uh, but they had to remember, it's only the beta. I know we're not far from the release, literally like 20 days or something. Like 20, uh, well, it was 26 days. No, it was about 24 days, I think, from the release, roughly. Just trying to guess off the top of my head. So not very far away at all, but there's still time to, you know, tweak the weapons, tweak the odd little few things before the full release, which I'm sure they will do. So everything in the beta will not final so uh, there was really, literally no reason to complain about these bad things that like was in the beta that's the whole point you know to find out what's bad before the full release uh, so people complaining stupid you know why didn't you just think it's a beta it's probably going to get changed more than likely that's that's the case you know one huge complaint which needs to be fixed and i do not want another year of this is hacking i have seen worse hacking in this game than i saw in modern warfare let me tell you that uh, i did a video covering this uh, and i titled the vi uh, caption the video title was a little bit clickbait if you was wanting to hack the game 
I put hacks uh, in already in Modern Warfare and bot lobbies uh, because there was a debate whether the lobbies are getting filled with bots. Uh, to be honest, my opinion, I think they're not. I think it was a little glitch that 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 feature. If you missed that video, make sure you check it out. You'll know what I mean. Uh, but the hacking was insane. Like I was saying, it, I got like 200 plus views on that video. And um, for me, usually, I don't get that amount of views at the minute. Uh, 100 views is probably my maximum uh, at the minute. You know, like on average. Uh, so that indicates to me personally because of the title and the way it was titled and the way it was uh, captioned and the thumbnail was that people are searching to hack the game that's how it was for me the thumbnail was so so clickbait if you want to hack the game it showed a mod menu and all that kind of stuff which was in the actual clip i used people were using a mod menu in this game and the second clip i did see which wasn't in that video i saw that after i posted that video and i've been meaning to make a separate video on it was you know back in world at war and modern warfare 2 where you could have that weird gun like hacked gun where there's no gun in your hand it's just your like you can just see a hand on the screen basically and it was shooting explosive rounds it was like shooting rpg bullets fully automatic like no reload it was absolutely nuts man like how is that in this game i get it's a beta i get obviously it's going to be you know if you're going to wanting to hack this game i guess the beta would be the easiest time to do so because they've not got all the you know anti-hacks in place and all that kind of stuff for the beta well, I, guess, I guess not so if it's going to be the same this year if i'm going to run into aimbots uh you know people firing rpgs fully automatic at me then crossplay is getting turned off uh you know, I love crossplay. I think it's a great feature to play with your friends who are on different consoles and things like that. Um, but playing with PC players at, at first, I thought playing against keyboard and mouse was, you know, a disadvantage enough. If you get a good keyboard and mouse player, they're beaming, let's be honest. Uh, so, yeah, I let that one slide in Modern Warfare. And when the hacks came, obviously they're coming from PC. Uh, no one's hacking on the PS4 or the Xbox One. Uh, rarely. It's mainly the PC players, let's be honest here. Crossplay is getting turned off for me. It's not fun. It's not right. Uh... Personally, I said in that video as well, there could be IP ban, the IP ban these hackers and some guy was being smart and commented, have you never heard of dynamic IPs? Yes, I've heard of dynamic IPs and how the IP is constantly changing every single second, but who, everybody's not going to have one of them. Still, in my opinion stands, IP ban hackers, they shouldn't be in the game at all. Uh, you know, delete them because when you ban accounts, they're just going to make a new account, but that's my only main concern with this game is the hacking so i rambled on about that uh, but in general this game is just amazing it looks amazing i mean i'm playing on a standard ps4 i mean this game would look even better on a ps4 pro never mind the ps5 which is releasing next month i'm so hyped to play this game on the ps5 uh, i've managed to, i've not actually managed to secure a pre-order on the ps5 yet i'm hoping i can before the release because i would be so devastated if i can't get it on release but it is what it is uh I can't wait to play this game more when it fully drops and see what has changed. Prestige mode, well, prestige mode has to be in this game for me. There's many, many debates going around that you might be able to prestige once a season or it's just going to be the same ranking system as Modern Warfare. If that's the case, I'm going to be really, really bummed. Um, Prestiging is just a nostalgic feature in COD. It's a reason to grind when they've got nothing else to grind for, especially the level 1000 grind. You know, you can hit max prestige, you can unlock dark matter camo or damascus camo whatever it's going to be in this game i presume it'll be dark matter camo um and then obviously you got the level 1000 grind it gives you something else to grind for it takes a very long time you know it's it adds a bit little bit more something else to do in the game it gives you a reason to come back and play whereas in modern warfare i found myself a lot of the time he hitting max rank on that season maxing the battle pass out and doing the i didn't even really bother with many of the challenges but there was not much replay value on the multiplayer really I had all the camos, I had everything, and uh, it sort of made the game a little bit stale, especially towards the end of seasons, and definitely made the game hard to upload. The content in that game was very, very stale as well, in my opinion, which I have said before on Twitter. It was just best class setups every single season. Let's be honest, it was just recycled content every single time. Uh, I've seen it, you know, every single YouTuber, best class setup for the M4A1. Season 2 M4A1, no recoil, or Season 3 M4A1 is absolute beast. It's, it was the same kind of thing, uh, which was alright. It made the content kind of nice to do, it was easy to do, but then it made it stale. It made uh, recording the videos boring for me. Obviously, like, I feel like I've recorded this video three months ago now and I'm recording it again. And it was sort of like a rinse and repeat process, but you guys seem to like it, so that's the main thing. Hopefully, we can spice up the content a little bit this year, uh, but then again, we'll see. It's still such a great game. Sorry if I just get a little bit negative here towards the end, but I love this game. Treyarch for me is the one. 
never fails to disappoint. There's going to be zombies, which we'll be able to do videos on, all kinds of different things. Obviously, Warzone integrated. It's going to be a great year for Call of Duty. This now new fresh multiplayer. Warzone's going to have some massive changes. It's going to be insane. I can see the player base going through the roof. So make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any Call, Call of Duty Cold War news, gameplays, all that kind of stuff. Running up to the release, and when the game does drop, you know I'm grinding hard, harder than ever, as I do every single year. I've really, really put some hours in when the first game does, when the game drops, you know, the first couple of weeks, I'm putting in some serious hours, as always. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys ever so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought of the Cold War beta down in the comments below. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them, there in the description below. But apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.